hello and welcome to another video so today i'm going to try and hack my own wi-fi network the whole procedure i'm following is available on wikihow you can check it for yourself this is not a guide for you to hack other people's network it's just an experiment just to see if it works okay and i'm doing this on my own wi-fi i already know the password i just want to know if you know i can crack it now to get started let's bring bring out the terminal and i'm going to be using air crack is a package which you can download first of all let me open the terminal as admin so i mean as root so i'm going to run sudo su and put my password and i am in root to begin with let me check if i have a wi-fi card of course i know i have one because i'm on a laptop if you're on a desktop you can plug in your own wi-fi card but in this case i need to know the details about my wi-fi card so i'm going to run airmon ng and as you can see here is my wi-fi card the interface name is right here and it's very important keep that in mind or write it somewhere we'll need it now the next stage is to activate monitoring via this interface so i'm going to run airmon hyphen ng space start and then the name of my interface this one right here it's wlp 13 s 0 enter and you can see this an issue has arisen over here found two processes that could cause trouble now we need to kill these two processes here is a command to kill them in order for us to proceed so airmon ng check kill we can still decide to restart the process of monitoring or we can just continue but in this case just for the, for the benefit of the doubt let's just restart again and now there's no any issues about processes that may cause trouble so after that stage we have there is this message experimental wireless LAN monitor mode vif already enabled for the our card the interface is right there and then there's a physical and something here which is prism zero now you just might read something like mon zero this here is actually the virtual interface name okay so let me bring out a text let me bring out a text editor and write down some information right here so the name of my interface interface is wlp 13 s 0 okay the second thing is the virtual interface name and this one is mine is prism 0 very important we shall need it along the way and then let's add this one for now and proceed now now we need to list check all the available wireless connections or wi-fi near me and to do that we just run the following command arrow dump space oh ng there's no spacing ng and then this prism prism zero and press enter now as you can see here we have this is our network if i enlarge this one you shall see this is my uh, the wi-fi that i need to check for password and to confirm that just take under essid you should see the name right here so mine is called no wi-fi okay 
and then below that we have this section this section below the network is as stations and these stations are devices that are trying to connect to my network okay you see some of them here as not associated and then we have the stations and this over here okay so what we need to take from here few information first we need the networks bss id this one right here just double click and right click to copy or you can type it by yourself so i'm going to type it here it is network bss id then i'll paste it next i need the network channel right here on the ch and my channel is one so network channel this channel one and then and uh, bs and uh, stations these are just devices that are trying to connect but we shall deal with those ones later for now now we need to start recording all the activities that are happening to that network i know it's monitoring but it's not recording anything okay so we need to start recording that information somewhere so i'm going to put this domino a little bit to the side and then right click over here open a new terminal just click file and open another terminal make sure you are in admin and then for this one we need to write a command and that's arrow dump hyphen ng space hyphen c and here we put the channel number remember the channel number let me close this one the channel number is one okay so let me pull this on above a little bit so the channel number is one the space and then double hyphen we write b s s i d okay and then we put the network b s s i d which is right here okay right click copy it and you can paste it you can write it on if you like then we space a little bit then we need to specify where the files or that information will be recorded to so hyphen w and then the directory should be forward slash root forward slash desktop that's where we want to record it and then let's add our prism over here press enter okay good so if you look at these two windows they look a little bit similar so we don't need this one we can close the first one and remain with the second one okay this is the one that is recording information to that directory in order for us to continue we have to leave this window open we can't interfere with it now let's open another terminal still bring it to the side here now we need to initiate a, we need to wait for an handshake an handshake is when a device tries to connect to that network now so far i'm not sure if there's any device that has connected already there's this one listed over here but it's not mine so i'm going to try and use my own phone okay so i'm going to connect my phone i already know the password okay so there it is my device has just connected to the network and a handshake has just happened now you might be wondering between these two devices which one is my phone now i believe mine is the first one now from here i need to get, try and force my phone to disconnect and connect again and for that i need to keep a record of um, this station bssid so i'm going to copy this one 
I just interfered with that one. Very unfortunate. So now I have to rerun that command again. Wow. Okay. Let me just run it. Now since the hand shake has already opened, you can stop recording over here. So I'm going to press Control C on this terminal and our file should have recorded everything. Okay, let me bring out the terminal. Then I will go to the desktop to check if the information I just recorded is available. Let me open the file manager here. And if I go to desktop, here is my information. So my password should be in here. I'm going to right click and rename this file to the way I want it. Password. that way and then in order for us to crack our password we need a word list now this is my word list I got this one from uh, I got this one from Kali Linux under the directory USR share word list you can download your own word list from online or wherever you can so I'm going to extract mine I can extract here you need to keep in mind the name of this file and this one okay because this this is the information we need and this is the word list that we use to crack uh, for the password so i'm going to close this bring out the terminal again then i'm going to clear this and then i'm going to cd into root slash desktop desk okay and then i'll list the contents and my files are right here the txt file and the password okay in order to start cracking i'm going to run the command air crack hyphen ng space the name of my password which is password i mean the password files password hyphen zero one dot cup space then hyphen w space and then my password list which is rock u dot txt now we are ready to start cracking fingers crossed let's see if we can find our password here is my password how, how amazing it took less than a minute <laughs> to find my password so if you have a stronger password uh, it might take a little bit longer uh, mine it was very simple i made it simple specifically for a, a trying on this video um, there are few things to keep in mind here first of all uh, this testing process only works if your Wi-Fi has a WPA, WPA, and WPA2, WPA3 will not work. Let me show you. If we check our Wi-Fi, our our Wi-Fi network. So I'm going to run the command iro dump ng and prism prism zero. You can clearly see that uh, my Wi-Fi under ENC it's WPA2 now if yours was WPA3 this will not work I hope you enjoyed the video if you liked it make sure to give it a thumbs up don't go hugging other people's Wi-Fi catch you guys on the next one